All right, all right. We good? All right, guys. Welcome to episode 54 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. We're back with another episode. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, sharing, subscribing, and all that good shit. We love you guys from the bottom of our heart. We appreciate you, Dope Talk family. But yeah, man. Yo, we're yo. back with another one. How you feeling tonight, Johnny? Chilling, chilling, man. It's another late night. Mm-hmm. We out here grinding. It's already what midnight. Work never stops. Yeah, this is the part people don't see. Yeah, they it. just see these come out like, oh, you well, know, it must be easy. It must hey, be man, easy. sometimes you got life shit going on and you gotta do it at midnight. You know what I'm saying? And Facts. Gotta do it sometime. Yeah. So. If not, then who else? I mean, that someone else is gonna do it. No, it's a fact. <laughs> Either you do it or something. You watch somebody else do it, bro. Plain Facts. and fucking simple, man. Facts. But yeah, talking about watching somebody else do it. We watching fucking Japan. Come up with the first flying car this next year, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like one of the first, uh, I guess, not like a project car. You know what I mean? You can actually buy it. That's kind of, that's pretty cool. That's Um, dope. Yeah, it's going to be something that people are actually going to be able to buy. Like, But it's crazy. People drive like assholes on the road. Imagine everybody flying around everywhere. Nah, that's going to be some accidents. Someone's going to die. A lot of people are going to fucking die. Flying into buildings and shit. Niggas are going to be drunk flying <laughs> instead of drunk driving bros drunk flying drunk flying i don't know i don't know how that's gonna work out i don't even I mean, think if if one person can do it i feel like no nah, i feel like all like everybody has to fly in the air if one person is gonna do it right? um, i think it'd be like a mix of both for a while yeah it'd be like a mix of people driving on the road and a mix of people flying because let's be real bro the first people that are going to get those flying cars is going to be, like, Dubai fucking oil billionaires and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's going to be people that, like, can afford it. There ain't going to be... A fucking Cadillac is could cost you a hundred grand. Imagine a fucking flying car, bitch. You might be spending a couple million. Nah, for real. You know, so... That's true. Flying with their fucking little fucking leopards and shit. <laughs> <laughs> flying with their fucking lions. Yeah. Shotgun and shit. Yo, I, I salute, nigga. Yeah. Cause you gotta have some balls Fast. to be riding around 150 miles an hour in a fucking Aston Martin with a fucking lion next to you. Yeah, that must you must have raised that shit since it was. That's like majestic, a, yeah, bro. Like like a cub, yeah. Like, I salute. Hey, salute, salute Dubai, man. Y'all yo, be on some shit. Yo, Dubai Y'all be wrong. buying your 16 year old kids fucking Rolls Royces and shit to get dropped off at school. Like, I don't know, crazy man. shit. I'm not gonna lie. I went to the gym today and I saw somebody that looks like Ben Laden. <laughs> I swear, in the face, he looked like Ben Laden, but shorter version, and he, he was skinny, but in the face, you could tell, he looked like Ben Laden, it was weird, Middle Eastern type of uh, skin, you know, he just looked, he just looked Middle Eastern, I don't know, maybe that sounds You're racist. You're just a racist fuck, I don't guys. think that was racist, but <laughs> he looked like Ben Laden, he looked like fucking Ben Laden, I'm gonna put a picture of Ben Laden, you tell me, but nah, I wish I could. <coughs> I wish y'all saw him, man. It was funny. It was funny. Yeah, bro. Nah, hey, man. Some people, you know, it's kind of they carry a resemblance for, of where they're from, bro. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with that shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. But he did look like Ben. Laden. <coughs> he looked like Ben. Laden. Hey, bro. It might have been. Who knows? Mm. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, We're bro. We're talking about white and black. Yeah, man. It's, it's this shit. This race shit is getting out of hand, bro. Like facts. Like every, you look anywhere and everywhere, bro, and it's black versus white, white versus black, white versus black, black versus white, and it's like, um, you guys do know there are other races on the planet, right? Like, nah, seriously, there is like other races. There's other problems going on besides that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's an issue. You know, it is. I'm not saying it's not an issue. Nah, yeah, but. At some point, it's like, when are we going to stop being so specific and start really trying to help everybody? I just, you know? want, I just want people to stop bullshit and act like white people are the only people that, that are racist. Because it's like, there's a... There's so That's many- a big thing about it, too, bro. Yeah. That, like, bro, there's racist people in every race, man. Yeah, point blank. You know, there's, you know, I've been, I've been, you know... I wouldn't say picked on if that's how you want to say it, but I've been, you know, like looked at a certain way from white people, black people, other Spanish people, you know, I've come across black people that are like, oh, you can't relate to our struggle, you know, and Mm -hmm. then I've come across white people that are like, oh, bro, like you're, you're lesser than because you're not white. I've come across 
other Spanish, other Puerto Rican people that just because I was a little bit darker, they're a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it happens everywhere, bro. Yeah. That it is. happens everywhere. It's about how you choose to fucking cope with it and like live your life around it because it's not going to go away. No. It's not going to go away, bro. People are going to have their own opinions and they're entitled to have their own opinions. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, and everybody just needs to stop being fucking soft. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we I'm, live in a generation, bro. It's way too fucking soft. Yeah. Like, what we're saying right now is offending people. Yeah, it's offending people. It's, it's offending yeah. people as they're hearing it. They're getting fucked. Their blood is fucking boiling. Yeah. And it's like, bro, like, you're who we're talking to right now. Like, yeah. relax. Everything, in, like, there's bigger problems in life than, you know, what's going on in 2020. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this has been a really fucking weird year, bro. It's been a weird year from top to bottom. But yeah. we can't let that shit fucking stop us from moving forward, bro. We got to move forward. Like, And another thing is, like, everybody, just like how you're saying, everybody has their own opinion. You know, like, let's just say that you vote for Biden and I vote for Trump. You know what I mean? You may have your views, but I still look at you as, you know what I'm saying, the same person. Right. You know what I mean? But th that's the problem with people nowadays is that people just, oh, they find out... <coughs> Uh, you know, you support Biden or you support Trump, and mm -hmm. it's like, it's like bro, that's it's why like, I don't really talk politics with too many yeah, people. Bro. I know you this. can't, man. Yeah, if I you know ever this. noticed, yeah, like I, I don't really, this. I don't like to. No, I'll no, stay, no, I'd rather stay quiet because it's like there's no point. Yeah, yeah. and it might shoot. There's you, really no point. And it'll shoot you in the foot. I notice. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? It w like, uh, like you'll just end up shooting yourself in the foot because, especially if you're just trying to build a relationship on like. I don't know, let's just say on a business standpoint and you say some slick shit and you may not know that you they might be on the other like other side, you know what I mean? And now they kind of look at you a different way and now they kind of just don't want to do business with you. It, it it can affect you like that. No, nah, it definitely I mean? can, man, and it shouldn't. Yeah, it shouldn't. It's not supposed to, but <laughs> that's why it's kind of like you got to just keep it to yourself and I learned that from a personal experience not too long ago. And uh I was like, man, I should have just stayed quiet because at the end of the day, it's none of his business. It's not. And it yeah. doesn't matter. Like, let's be real. It don't. Like, yeah. whether you support whoever you support or you don't. Like, yep. who really gives a fuck at the end of the day, man? Like, in the grand scheme of things, bro, none of this matters too much. Yeah. You know? Like, for real. Like, not to get all fucking depressive and, like, you know, just, like, just being depressing, but in the grand scheme of things, like, let's be real. What's going on today, right now, 2020, is it going to matter 200 years from now? Mm. It may. It may not. Yeah. But most likely, it fucking won't. Yeah, I don't think so. You know? It's like, just live your life, man, and be happy, and, and make, you know, stand on what you believe on. Stand on what you believe in, period. Like, whatever that is. Yeah. You know, stand on what you believe in and don't let nobody else tell you that you shouldn't be standing on that. Yeah, like, and religions too. It's like, bro, like, I'm going to believe who I'm going to believe. Like, bro, if somebody in, is not in your shoes, they can't walk your mile. And that's a fucking fact. That's bars right there. Yeah. If someone ain't in your shoes, they can't walk your mile. Like, shut the fuck up and let other people live their fucking lives how they see fit. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like it's like with anything, bro. Like you might not, you might think it's dumb to go out and splurge and spend a couple grand on at the mall. Somebody else might like it. Like it's different. Everybody's different, bro. And that's what's beautiful about humanity, bro. Everybody's different, you know. But we can all learn from each other, and we all should learn from each other. Yeah, that's a big problem. Like everybody wants to, you know, everybody got know the, it all. Everybody's big dick Willie from out of Philly. They know it all. Yeah, they, you know, they know it all. Yeah. Anything you talk to them about, they know it. They know what you're talking about. Yeah. But they don't fucking do nothing. Yeah. You know? Exactly. It's like, what? So you have all this knowledge for what? Mm hmm. You know? It's like. Yeah, that's true. Why you got all this knowledge? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's true. That makes sense. Yeah. And it, I don't like those type of people, man. Those people are annoying. Because, like, they, they feel like they're, uh, they just, they're better than you. That's yeah. just what it is. But in yeah. all reality, bro, most of us don't know shit. Yeah, we just know big words and we know what how to fucking put them together and we know certain things. But in reality, it's all speculation, man. Even the smartest motherfuckers on this earth speak from speculation. You don't fucking really know, bro. Yeah. You don't. We know what we do every day. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much right. it. If you do what you, you if you do, bro, the only shit. the only thing certain in this life is death. 
Yeah, you work till you it. die. You work till you die. That's it. I mean, that's a choice. <laughs> no, I mean, that's like, a choice I mean, to like work till you die. I mean, like you work, like you you're doing something. No, yeah, like you should you should yeah, work till yeah. till you pass yeah. away, like, and you know, not necessarily like so, actually clock in and work, yeah, but like do some, staying active yeah. And, and yeah, doing something. <coughs> that's true. <coughs> that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, bro. Moving on to something a little bit less, you know what I'm saying? A little bit less dark. Yeah. Should drugs be legal in America like they are in Holland? Yeah, I really do. Yeah, I and think before so. before we start getting into it, for people, you know, backstory people that don't know, Holland has legalized fucking everything. Yeah, they legalized everything. They um, Let's just say that I want to do heroin, right? And... Uh, God damn, Toby. No, we got, we got empty lighters in here. We're trying to find a ladder Jesus. at this moment. Jesus. Fucking, um, but yeah, in Holland, guys, like, I, I've been to Holland personally. I was, I was young, um, and it was crazy, man. It was a crazy experience, because, you know, I was smelling weed and shit like that. I was fucking, I didn't know what it was, but I remember the smell, mm-hmm. everybody smoking down in the streets, like, everybody, there was even women in, in, standing in front of fucking, uh, like a, like a glass, naked, you know, modeling and shit, like, have you ever seen Harold and Kumar? Yeah, like, they have brothels and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 so, like, you know, I think we already spoke about this in one of the episodes, how, like, uh, even uh, prostitution, you know what I mean, is legal over there. So they, they got the red light district and all that bullshit. But they have, like, uh, let's say if I want to do heroin, they'll fucking let me go inside and use their building, use their needles and shit like that, because it's clean, everything's, get your own little room and shit, and you get to do your drugs in peace. And no one gets to see it, not no one in the streets, it keeps the streets clean. It keeps, you know, no needles in the streets and shit like that. And people getting uh, diseases and all that. Uh, so it keeps it keeps everything clean overall. And I think it keeps everything private. Yeah, man. I, I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like we should have centers like that. Because <coughs> it's apparent that the war on drugs, drugs won. Like, it's, it's apparent that drugs won the war on drugs. You're not getting rid of fucking drugs, bro. Like, way too many people do drugs. Way too many people like drugs. And where there's, you know, a demand, the supply is going to come. But <clears throat> we already have all these all these people that are addicted to opiates and, you know, just hardcore drugs as it is. Yeah. And honestly, like, I feel like it, it would it would lower the crime rate. It did over there. You yeah. know, if you actually do your research, that actually lowered the, the crime rate. It lowered the drug use rate. There's not... You don't see people in Holland strung out on the corner, nodding off. Yep. You know? Like, it's it's different. It changes the whole environment. And some people might look at it and be like, oh, well, why should... You, you shouldn't have to hide that or whatever. It's like, it's not about hiding it. It's about cleaning up the fucking community. Mm-hmm. You know, and, uh, overall, yeah. because if it's gonna be there, then it's gonna be there. But kids don't need to fucking see that, you know. Yeah, for real, like kids don't be, need to be seeing that. And and people should, you know, they should have access to clean needles and and a, and a sterile environment mm-hmm. because you don't want that person going in the fucking bathroom at Publix and using their needle get fucking blood on the fucking seat. Now you sit down and you call some fucking HIV off a toilet seat type shit. Yeah. That's a big possibility when it comes to fucking people shooting up or whatever it is that they're doing. Yeah. You know? So, like, you got to think about shit like that, too. Like, mm-hmm. it just, it it, it makes the, the rest of the environment a yeah. little bit better. I don't think, I don't think the U.S. wants to, uh... Get that light, man. I don't think the U.S. wants to fucking clean up the streets. No, I don't, I think that's, I think it's just breaking, that would break the system. Listen, man, in my opinion, bro, like, the government is the biggest dope dealer. Especially ours. They're the biggest dope dealer, bro. Yeah. They bring in the the shit themselves, man. Like, it's been proven, like, it's been, like, you you can find it in history where, you know, the government has had ties to big people. Mm -hmm. Pablo Escobar was working with the CIA. Yeah. Why? 
That's you, crazy. Those are questions that, you know, when you start looking into certain shit, you ask yourself, you're like, damn, why the fuck? Because, man, America is the number one fucking consumer of cocaine. And who's the king of cocaine at the time? Nah. And you know, you gotta talk drugs. to the plug. <laughs> everybody loves drugs, man. People love, like, everybody has a drug of choice, whether yeah. they realize it or not. Man, y'all, yeah. y'all comment down and let us know what type of drug you guys like to use. Like, be honest, because, like... Yeah, just, facts. Yeah, Don't be shy, man. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. some people like to do fucking mushrooms. Some people like to do fucking <laughs> acid. You know, everybody got their own shit. So, I, I can't imagine how many drugs this guy was bringing in, how much money this guy was making. This guy was fucking banking. Bro, in the 70s, <clears throat> in the 70s, he was making, like, 60 million a day. <clears throat> That's fucking ridiculous money. That's scary money. That's power. Yeah. That's a lot of power. If, honestly, bro, he just got a little overzealous, but if Pablo played his cards right, he could have literally been the president of his country. He was trying to, and then he failed, and they found out. Yeah, but that's, you know, he got a little bit too overzealous. You know, he got a little bit too overzealous. But when you're making $60 million a day, and you're on the fucking Forbes list... And you're considered one of the richest men on the earth. That shit might get to your head a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it might get to your head a little bit. Nah. But yeah, nah, fuck that, man. Shout out to, to Pablo, man. Yeah, Pablo and the Escobar. Escobars, bro. Shout yeah. out to that whole family, they're bro. Because their family's still around, they're, bro. They're suing uh, 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 Teddy Boy a fucking... Yeah, 2 chains. We two mentioned chains. it before. Yeah, well, guess what, nigga? You shouldn't have used Escobar's name. Ooh, facts. Think about it. That's Pablo fucking Escobar. Yeah, don't like, use his name. Yeah. Relax, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> relax, yeah. relax. Yeah. But yeah, man. Fucking question. Fucking question, bro. Were humans alive at the same time that dinosaurs were alive? Holy shit. What a fucking question. Yeah. I think they were fucking riding the shit out of these fucking T-Rexes. They fucking making... Yo. These niggas... <laughs> giant fucking dinosaur eggs. I don't know. Nah, yeah, I feel like these niggas are riding pterodactyls through the air. Like they were fucking they making been. like the little, you know, the little T Rexes, the little small ones. They were making them fight and shit for money. Goddamn. <coughs> that's a hard question. That's kind of like the, the 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 chicken come or the egg first. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of. Nah, like, I don't. I don't think humans were alive when the dinosaurs were here, bro. No. Nah. Like caveman uh, shit. Maybe. Maybe. Like, I don't know, yeah. Like you know what? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah. Yeah, I think cavemen were here. Stance. And I think they stayed the fuck inside. I think they stayed the fuck inside. No, nah, I think they were just like, they had to be cavemen. Like, they're like, That's why they were called cavemen. Like, they, they were, were like, like, naked, like, if we go outside, we're going to nah, die. Nah, bro, we, we live in this cave, and the only time we go out is to like catch food real quick or like take a piss of shit, and we're right back. Jesus Christ. Nah, that's a shit way to live. Imagine living in a cave surrounded by fucking dinosaurs, bro. That's ass. Imagine, like, getting a toothache during those times. <laughs> Imagine that. Because I just, I just finished nah, my, my, my uh, root canal. I just finished today. I'm able to talk because I'm not numbed up. But earlier, my half of my face was numb. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking... My dog was hurting. I man. was hurting, but... Yeah, I got to go back in like two weeks to put in the crown and shit like that. But after that, I'll be done. But I'll tell you what, it was the worst pain I've ever experienced. So I can't imagine having toothaches back in the day, like medieval times and shit, or just back in the day. I mean, fuck. The lifespan back then was so short, dog. I don't think you had to worry about much. Yeah, that's (coughs) true. They probably just said fuck. (coughs) Like, bro, like... (coughs) That's the age where, like, you catch diarrhea, you're fucked. <laughs> you're gone. You might as well fucking give your shield to your little brother, your sword to your older brother. And say, yo, fight for me. And say, that's it. By the, mall. <laughs> By the morning. He said, you catch diarrhea, you're gone. Huh? By the morning, I'll be gone. <laughs> yo, ima- yo, imagine catching the flu or some shit. That's what I'm, not yeah, that ass, like, okay. catching the flu. Uh, any of that shit, bro, back then was, like, ten times worse. It was like a plague, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, you. Like, first of all, bro, yeah, you probably got stoned to death if you fucking got sick. 
Yes, sure. Like, we can't have you fucking getting the whole village sick. Fucking Halloween's coming up. Don't be a witch either, because we'll fucking kill you. The whole mob will come <laughs> after you. That's what they got with torches and shit. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, Halloween, yeah, bro. Fuck. fuck a witch, bro. I nah, fuck. honestly, bro, when I was a kid, I used to celebrate, but I don't really celebrate Halloween. Nah, it's on a Saturday bro. this year, bro. We got to do something. Nah. No, that's that's not uh, to me, bro. That's not a night to like really say, bro. Like some people like it, and that's their holiday and shit like that. But I don't, I don't see the point of celebrating bad energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that, like, they try to disguise it like as it's a little kid. Fuck. Oh, let's all dress up. It's fun. No, bro. They're you're you're fucking like celebrating witchcraft and fucking like devil worship you're celebrating a couple things <laughs> like you you know what i'm I've saying been doing like, it all my life too hey man it's crazy. you know some people it, some people just look at it as like a party atmosphere yeah I, do. I don't look at it like that a lot of crazy shit happened like look at look at chicago the last like every halloween for the last like five years like the energy bro goes it, it's bad that night like it just that's the night that is the night bro i'm telling you like, you want to get some shit off, bro? You fucking shoot a nigga. You go shoot that nigga on Halloween night. Like, yeah. everybody has a mask. Everybody has a costume. I just like eating fucking candy corn. <laughs> that's gross. Yeah. Candy corn is fucking nasty. Nah, man. that's my fucking shit. Candy corn, Nah, bro. but yeah, guys, go down in the comments and let us know if you fuck with Halloween or if you don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because Halloween, I don't know. I like if it. you like it, I don't. You know what I'm saying? No, it is what it is. Well, guys, well, I'm going trick-or-treating by myself, so it is what it is. Fuck that it. fucking damn near 30-year-old grown-ass man no going trick-or-treating by himself. No kids and shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking weirdo. Why don't you just fucking... Why don't ride? you just buy candy and just bring it home? I'm just going to... Why don't you just fucking ride around in a fucking haystack? In the tractor, <laughs> why don't you? Fucking no. Nah. Do you you don't even fucking carve pumpkins, bro? You don't even do bro, any of that. I don't give a flying fuck about none of that shit, bro. Jesus, that's fucking. I just don't. When's the last time you did that? Bro, I was probably like fourteen. Okay. The last time I like okay. dressed up yeah. and went out for Halloween, I was probably like thirteen, fourteen. Damn. I get, bro. It's just like I don't know, man. Like, I don't know, bro. We've done... I, I don't know. We've done a lot of stupid shit in our past. You know? <laughs> That's a fucking fact, my guy. So, you know, maybe me celebrating Halloween is pretty stupid, maybe. Because we might be celebrating the double. I mean, it's true. It's all about how you look at it, bro. If you look at it like an innocent thing, then that's what it is. Fuck you it. Know? But that's not... I mean, that's not how I personally look at it. It's true. Fucking no. <laughs> but yeah, now nah, we did a lot of stupid shit growing <laughs> up, bro. You know what I mean? One of the dumbest things I ever fucking seen you do was let some niggas lower your fucking car all the way to the fucking ground. He fucking, I lowered my car so fucking low. Bro. That I got low, stuck. guys. Like, low. I got it stuck in the fucking, uh, in the, the Shell gas station. And it was fucking, it was stuck. And I scraped the bottom of my fucking gas tank. And I was leaking gas. It was dripping, just like. Bruh, I told this man. <laughs> I told this man about a hundred fucking times. Yeah, bro. I made it. I made it through some fucking woods, and fucking. Some I told area. this nigga take I mean, it to a shop. He said, "Nah." Nah, I didn't want to take it to a shop. Nah. I did, it from, I did it. It still worked pretty good, though. I know somebody I could do it for a hundred fifty dollars. Oh no, whoever, bro. If you like that. that I feel like that slam shit is like for like the little kids and shit. That uh, I feel like it's for, it's for people that have like the bread to do it. But that shit's all it's all bread. It's all bread. It can't be your daily. Like if you drive that shit, as a nah, daily, that shit's trash, bro. You, trash. First of all, you feel every crack rolling down the fucking road in a, in a car that's lowered. <laughs> and you feel everything, every fucking pebble. You like. I remember he drove my car. And he thought oh that shit was, God. he said it was stiff as fuck. It was trash, bro. Yeah, like, that, like, shit was, that shit was stiff. 
It looked smooth, bro, but it drove like ass. That shit fucking was stiff as fuck, hard as fuck to turn the wheel and shit. I'm like, damn, bro. That's, like, that shit was trash. Low time. life. Long story short, this nigga fucked up his whole car, needed a new fucking <laughs> gas tank. Then he wanted like $1,600 <laughs> to fix it. That car was been through some shit. It got shitted on. They got fucking... <laughs> That bitch been through fucking That was hell. the same car sh- that girl shit in. Damn, got your ass. Yeah, yeah no, that it, car. I've gotten, bro, I've, <coughs> I've got plenty of things in that car that, some nasty things, and I've done some fucking yeah, shitty bro. things if you catch my drift. It, bro, that's gross. At the yeah. end of the day, <laughs> man, we all have that one car. I remember my first Buick. That was my baby, bro. I did a lot of shit in that car. That mm-hmm. Buick was fucking nice. You had Billy fucking singing along and fucking... Nah, nah. It was the first one. The first one. Oh, okay. It was okay. the gray one. The silver one I had. Oh, yeah. That that one yeah. used to pick me up. I used to skip class. Bro, and used we to pick used me to up. be fucking rolling in that bitch. That ever, <laughs> I'll never forget the time that when your window... <laughs> your, <laughs> My window was your window, fucked your, up. <laughs> Yo. the one, the window went the window went down and it was raining and I was and like what is go up. And, and, and I you wanted kept to punch you in your fucking face. What do you face. mean you wanted to? You kept punching me. Yeah, because I was like, nah, because I just all right, guys. So this is what happened. Nah, he punched the shit out of me. Niggas know, out of me. niggas know, niggas know that ass, niggas know funny. that fucking old Buicks had problems with their windows and shit. I'm I don't know fucking no why. They would fucking go out. The motors would stop working. All this other shit. Yeah. So. My fucking windows were propped up and held up by, like, newspapers and shit and fucking whatever I could stuff in the fucking window. I tell this nigga, bruh, <laughs> don't put the fucking window down. Don't put the window down at all. Facts. He's like, bet. We're driving. Fucking two minutes later, the fucking guy over here puts the fucking window down. I fucked up, and I, he beat me up. Yeah, point blank. and it was raining hard as fuck, so guess what I did, guys? I started punching him in the arm. <laughs> yeah, and I got bruised. Over and over and over again. I was pissed. I yeah. was fucking pissed. Like I, said, I was like, bro, I just told you not to put the window down. Now my whole car is going to be wet, damp, it's going to smell like ass, and I can't put my window back up. Like I said, though, we did stupid shit, you know what I mean, but... Yeah, man, we wrapping up. I guess we gonna wrap it up. Yeah, bro, we gonna start fucking heading out, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking with us. Like and share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that we got a new video. Thumbs up. And we appreciate you guys. Love. Peace.